Hello, misfits, and welcome. I know, I know. I made a post about how I was gonna change my uploading schedule, <laughs> and then what did I do? I didn't upload. Isn't that funny, isn't that wild? Sorry, sorry about it, but I have a video for you today. Uh, and today's video is a little bit different. Normally I give sort of like ad advice and tips on how to run your games and manage your players and play. Uh, today, our video is going to be about uh, a specific tool that I think you guys will find pretty useful. Uh, it is called City Builder, and it's sort of this new program being offered through Scabbard. So, let's get into it. Now, when I say Scabbard, I'm sure some of you have no idea what that is. I've talked about it briefly in a previous video. I had this, um five tools for, five useful tools for running a game that I put out like a few weeks ago, or I guess it's a couple months ago now. But um, in there I talked about Scabbard and Scabbard is basically my preferred website and program for organizing my campaign lore. I use Scabbard kind of like a, a wiki uh, and on there I put in all the info my players could possibly need about my homebrew world and the adventure my, my PCs are following, and all the NPCs they encounter along the way. Um, you can make an account for free, or you can try all the various different subscription tiers they offer. And as the DM, you can create character pages, your players can come and like claim those characters and have access to them and be able to change them. You can also do session logs and um, things like that. You can put in secrets for different pages. There are a lot of ways that you can use Scabbard. I mainly use it like a wiki, but everybody uses it differently, and its versatility is what makes it really, really cool. But that's Scabbard, like, as a whole, and we're not talking about that today. We're talking about a very specific feature that is new called City Builder. And small disclaimer, me reviewing and talking about City Builder uh, is something that the, their developer has asked me to do, so of course I'm going to do that. Um, and they kind of gave me access to poke around and, and look at the, the program and try it out for myself. So here I am telling you about it. So, City Builder. What is it? Well, Scabbard is how you manage your whole campaign and your adventures and your characters. City Builder is kind of this sort of subsection. It's in a paid beta right now, and this is going to help you kind of organize and flesh out your cities within your games. Previously on Scabbard, when you were creating different things within your city, like um, the wealthy neighborhood, the slums, the docks, specific buildings and guilds, all of those were separate pages that you kind of had to list as uh, sub-regions of your, your town or city. Um, and you know, you could show that they were connected to each other, but it wasn't always immediately apparent. Um, they were all in separate things, and it wasn't always easy to see how it all fits together at once. City Builder solves that problem. Uh, City Builder has all of these different, like, subregions and subsections of your town all on one page, so you can just see it all there. Let's book around my own campaign here, so... Uh, let's go find me. Alright, so this is my campaign page, The World of Aurelia, and let's look at a city. I started creating a page for the city of Navalor. So, now, City Builder, uh, kind of looks like this, where it's all on one page, and, and this is the default picture in art, I haven't changed it, um, and we're kind of using this tree or sort of drop-down menu situation to see everything. So, yeah, you expand that and you can see your city districts and I've created a couple here. Um, the Soaring Monastery and the Sacred Grove, all right? So if you want to create like a new city district, it's easy to do. You just sort of uh, click on the arrow and you do that. So uh, we'll do sort of like a, a port district here. And now there's like a, a die here and it'll randomize the name for you. The cool thing about this is that it's smart. It sees what kind of category you're giving this place, whether you're giving it like port or um, 
like a temple or monastery and it's gonna pick a random name that kind of fits that category. So I've said port, so it's giving me the nautical nucleus. That's kind of funny. Um, let's see what else it gives me. Port Herald. Port Pirius. Port of Kalia. Let's change this. Let's see what happens if I put um, monastery instead. See what it offers. The Custodians of the Light. Interesting. The Silver Cloister. That's fun. The Sunlit Sanctum. So it's a, it's a pretty smart AI here, which I do enjoy. Yeah. Let's go back to Port and... You know, we're just gonna call it, um... Um, North Bay Docks. Uh, then you can put in a summary. We'll say, um, we'll say, um, the secluded docks of the small town of Navalor. Uh, you can decide whether you want it to be secret or not. It recognizes that this is a, a sub-region of Navalor. Um, yeah, so you do that. And it's all done. So now we've got North Bay Docks, Soaring Monastery, Sacred Grove. So you can go and edit these more. You can add descriptions, you can add secrets, you can change the art. You can choose to update it silently. You can do all the things that you could do in classic version, in the in the older version, but it just looks a little bit different. And it'll show like um, your connections here at the bottom. So if you're used to like the old version, well, let's look at it. All you have to do is click classic to go back to it. Um, and you see it the old way. Connection showing you like the different towns and stuff it's connected to is on the side when you're in the when you're in the city builder version, it's gonna be at the bottom. There are a few things that I like about this. Um, what I like about city builder is that it's great at giving you kind of the, the big picture view of your city to see all the different pieces that, that make it up. Um, when you're in classic mode, you have that connections on this side, but it's still not always like immediately clear how um, locations are connected to each other, um, especially when it's like a location within a location, you know, the museum within the city. Um, that can be kind of um, hard to tell in the classic version. Um, so here it's, it's pretty upfront and immediate how it all works together. So it gives you a better overview um, of all of that. And, and it's a nice, clean, kind of simplified view. Um, there's not a lot of clutter here. And, you know, you still have classic mode. And I still love classic mode. You see, City Builder is this sort of zoomed out big picture um, tool for organization and stuff. Um, classic mode is the more zoomed in kind of detailed view. Um, cause you saw that you could put in secrets. You don't really see secrets, um, here in the city builder view. You have to go to classic to look at that. Um, so just be aware of that. I think this is a good tool mainly for organization, which is why I love Scabbard. Uh, when I was creating all of my lore and, world stuff. I just needed a way to organize it. And Scabbard was like a godsend. It's like everything I needed. All right, so that's me talking about City Builder and telling you a little bit about it. If you guys want me to talk more about Scabbard in general, let me know. There's a lot of stuff you can do in Scabbard. Uh, and you might be able to tell just based on my campaign pages and stuff, that I have a lot in here. Um, I find a lot of joy in organizing uh, all of my ideas and thoughts. Um, so this is exactly what I need. Um, 
though I know everybody is different, but if, if you guys are curious about more scabbard related stuff, just let me know. I'd be happy to talk about it. Um, if there are other topics or tools that you want me to poke around and look at, let me know. I know that there was some interest in me talking about Dungeon Alchemist a while back in terms of like map making. Um, and I got a few other ideas up my sleeve of, of things I wanna talk about. But anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, kind of short and sweet, sort of, uh, but hopefully very informative and um, hopefully at least puts uh, scabbard on your radar. So you can go check it out and poke around this new tool, City Builder. If you liked this video and you found it useful or informative, please feel free to like and subscribe. That stuff really, really helps me out. But with all of that said, I hope you guys have a great, uh, great day, great rest of your week or weekend, depending on when this finally comes out. And I will see you again next time. Guys, we need to talk about a very serious issue that I know, I know a lot of us struggle with. And that's the lack of dice storage. Did I get you? Did I get any of you? Yeah, m some of you might know I have a problem. I'm addicted to buying dice and, and accumulating large quantities of dice, particularly with all these lovely people on like Etsy or Instagram that make these like custom beautiful dice that are all very very cool and I want all of them and if I get all of them I don't always have places to put them. Normally I keep all of my dice in this very lovely dice box um, that my dad stained and added some detail work on and it's great. It's starting to get pretty full and that's bad um so i began looking for uh, uh some additional dice storage shall we say and you know anybody can get another box or another bag Every, anybody can do that that wasn't gonna cut it for me i wanted something i had an idea in my head and I was going to find a way to make it reality. I would either find somebody that had made it or I'd figure out how to make it myself. Thank goodness I just found somebody that was making pretty much exactly what I wanted. But I wanted something a little fun to keep my dice in. So we hearken back to a very important aspect of my childhood, something that got me through many a day on the playground and that is Pokemon. So I found the perfect dice storage, which is Bulbasaur. But his little bulb comes off and I can put dice inside. And it's the best thing ever. And I just want now, now I want to pull an Ash Ketchum, gotta catch them all and get all the Pokemon. <laughs> and just put dice in all of them, I guess. Um. He came in and then immediately was filled with dice. And then the next day, another set of dice I'd ordered arrived. It's a vicious cycle, guys. But anyway, I wanted to share that mainly for your enjoyment and just to, sh just to show him off because I think he's really cute. Anyway, <laughs> have a good rest of your day. Um... Tell me about some of the ways that you store your dice. Or tell me about your favorite set of dice. I recently got a new set um, that's like this really bright, fun yellow um, that I really, really enjoy. But, uh, you know, everybody's got their own preferences. Here, this is some of my yellow. And they have blue, like kind of like a teal, turquoise numbers. Anyway, tell me about either your favorite set of dice, or what you store your dice in. I'd love to hear about that. Anyway, till next time, guys.